If everybody will allow me, I know that I normally talk about sports, but today I want to talk about something serious. I want to talk about uh, the shootings in South Carolina and everything that's gone on, um, you know, recently. And recently, past four, five, six years, the shootings have gotten to be a little ridiculous. And I know everybody's been talking about this and saying, you know, we need to do something, but we really do. Uh, when you got people in Congress fighting about gun control and those sorts of things, and whether or not, you know, ultimately people should have control of weapons and what that means, I don't really care about that. What I do care about is the safety of America. America, to me, uh, is at the risk of having a civil war. Uh, when you talk about war of the shootings in South Carolina, uh, huge, eight people died. Uh, people's lives were ruined. Look at Arizona a couple years ago. Uh, not a couple years ago. It happened a while ago now, but Gabby Giffords, you know, her life was ruined. She's still doing a lot, but she's not, you know, She's compromised because of her situation. Closer to home, Oak Creek, and the shooting there. I say Oak Creek, Oak Creek, Wisconsin. I'm from Wisconsin. You know, Sandy Hook. America, we've got to wake up. We've got to do something about it. Politicians need to do something about it. We need a better structure in terms of how we want our country to run. Now, if if you can't, and I'm speaking of the politicians, if you can't um, get over the fact that, you know, the... the this party believes this, this party believes that. I don't care. You know, we're talking about people's lives. And for, in my 28 years of life, we've I've never seen anything like this in terms of violence and gun control and all this sort of thing. But we need to wake up and we need to start, you know, evaluating how we want this process to be done. And I know I'm speaking to the choir for most American most Americans out there, but man, when you have murder after murder after murder after murder after murder, and that's not even talking about the cops, the cops and, and, and you know, the discrepancy of, of hatred amongst cops and civilians and civilians and cops, I mean, where is this country headed? So we need to reevaluate where we are as a nation, where we are as a country, and let me let me let me relate this to sports. Sports uh, athletes and people that we need to look up to need to step up to the plate. And you know, Ray Lewis after Baltimore happened, that was good. We need more of that. We need more people to step up and stop and encourage the violence to stop. But that's not. A million people could say, or a million people could say that the violence needs to stop, but it's a systemic thing. It's gone on too far. We have too many people, you know, with access to these weapons. We don't, and a lot of times, you know, they're mentally ill, and then it's too late. You know, the, the, we find out, oh, they were having mental illness and. You know, it's too late, and it goes beyond uh, what, you know, you know. But those people's lives 
are already gone. Those people's lives that were affected are already ruined. Those families that were affected are already ruined. So when we look at, you know, deaths of civilians, we and I thought John Stewart made a good point. We we talk about how we've defended, we we we've, we've gone over to Iraq, Afghanistan. We need to control our own soil. Because if we don't, and stuff like this happens again and again and again, we need to put the politics aside and man up. Um, and I don't know how that happens. I'm not in politics, but I know that I'm going to do my part and try to speak out against this because we need we need change and we need it now. And I'm surprised at our leaders now. I'm really surprised, you know, they stand up there, they say, Obama says, well, you know, I, I keep reporting it. Well, then why can't you do something about it? I don't know. Go over to these places, do studies, whatever. But the frustration is there, and I'm sure you all can sense it in my voice. So I wanted to make a video that wasn't sports related, and I'm sure you can see why. Um, and, you know, I, I don't care. I, you know, this, this video might not get any views or whatever. I hope it, I hope it gets a lot of views. I hope that I'm able to reach out to everybody and, and, um, you know, but wake up America, wake up, please. You know, we're, as a nation, we're smarter than that. Everybody, you know, I, I say everybody, we could, if we all tried to be a better person, then this nation could be great. We can't be content with um, average. We need to try to be great. Every one of us. I don't care who you are. You know, I get that there's different socioeconomic issues. I don't care who you are, but you have to be great. You have to want to be great for America in order for us to succeed. So please, when you wake up in the day, wake up uh, every day, Try and think about what can I do to con contribute to society today? How can I help my family? How can I help stop this violence? I'm begging you. We need to stop this. Thank you. And I hope you, um, you know, take this message to heart because it certainly uh, came from the heart when I made this video. So... <sighs> Um, that's all I have to say about that. Thank you.